Hey, Jonathan. Hey, Keith. What's going on? Well, I've got a fun, colorful little thing on striped maps for relationships today. Wow. What is that thing? I can see your screen already. Yep. It, so It looks like a, a pink and purple and yellow zebra mm -hmm. with stripes where the orange stripes go across Nevada uh, and California, but the blue stripes go across only California. Mm -hmm. yep. So this was, uh, I call it, the title of this view is Circus Tent. And I uh -huh. um, was just having fun with this. So the, the particular use case for us um, is uh, we've got to make some maps for the World Health Organizations. And there are some territories in the world that are disputed. And so a common way on maps they get marked is with some sort of cross-hatching or striping on the maps. Mm -hmm. And therefore, um, we needed to build that. And we wanted to make it not just a background layer, but something that's more in the foreground that we can then color in different ways. And okay. uh, this is a use case for relationships. Nice. Great. I can't yeah. wait to see how you did it. I'm yeah. catching myself. The blue stripes on California is not because it's striped. It's because the state is colored blue. Um, actually, there's a combination of blue stripes and um, kind of a red stripes on this. Okay. Yeah. So I'm we just have my two different I, stripes. I'm salivating to know how you've done it and I'm trying to jump ahead. Um, okay. I can't wait to see. Yeah. So let's talk about the data source and the map. Um, so the map, if I go in and look at my data source. Uh, so we have Superstore orders here and we've connected it to three different logical tables of which two of which are actually the same. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the states for background. So this is a shape file of our states. And um, the relationship here is one equals one on this one. So this is exactly what we covered in an earlier conversation about Canada and having a background map that can always display. So we're using the one equals one relationship. So that way it won't be subject the states for background won't be subject to any filtering and we can always show that on our map. So this, this is that, this is that Canadian provinces thing. Yep. Sorry, Canadians. Canadian. And then the next one here is we have another, we have a copy of that. So it's both of these are from the, this USAK Hawaii shift conformal WM. So this is using uh, the Lambert, uh, conical projection, and this was something that Sarah Battersby helped me with. Um, so we can get that kind of curved map of the U.S. with uh, Hawaii and Alaska located in the lower corner. Um, and on this relationship, we're relating state to name in our table here. So we can see our list of names, Missouri, Maryland, New Mexico, and so on in our data. So we're going to use this when we want to plot a state outline on its own that relates to the orders data on state. Okay. And then the th third piece here, and this kind of highlights where, like we're using three different shape files already. This is a really good use for Tableau 2020.4 or higher and relationships. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're not on 2020.4, think about upgrading to that or one of the 2021.1 releases or higher. Um, so here, this data source, let me just click on this one. So this is another data source, but we can see in here, we've got two rows for Missouri and two rows for Maryland and two rows for New Mexico and so on. And a stripe dimension, which has values of one mm -hmm. or two in each of these. Mm -hmm. Nice. And this yep. is also related on state and name as well. So okay. this we're relating it here. Okay, so let me just make sure I got you. Your your top relationship is to do uh, the background thing like the Canada provinces. 
The bottom relationship is a custom projection. Um, and really that's just to, to arrange the layout of the view so that you can kind of place in the X, Y coordinates, the, the states and the location where you want them. Um, and get it's when Alaska we want to plot states on their own in relation to superstore states. Okay. So and then, this one, the bottom one and the top one are the same data set. Okay. Just one's related on one equals one, one's related on state. Got it. Okay, great. Yep. And then that middle one is the Stripey data source that has two records for each state um, in a Stripe dimension. And it's either right. Stripe one or Stripe two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And that one is also relating on the, on the state name itself. On the state name as well. Okay. Okay. So I'll just kind of show this from scratch here quickly. So here's my states for background. And then here's my background geometry here. And because this is a... Um, oh, why is Nigeria up above? Um, yep. So this States. is centered on the zero, zero latitude and longitude, this shape file. Okay. Uh -huh. And we're using Tableau's ability to plot shape files here, but we don't want Tableau's background maps. So we need to turn off that background. Exactly. So I can go to map map layers. Usually what I'll actually do is I'll go to map um, background maps and just go to offline because I don't even need the access to the online maps for this. Mm -hmm. And then here Wouldn't I can just, just wash out. Yeah, the tipping up the there. washout is what I was going to say. Yeah. Yep. But I okay. won't even have Tableau try to download anything. Because that would be extra calls to the internet. Why do that? Yep. Just performance. Okay. Yep. So... So here we're using Tableau's ability to plot a shape file, um, but we're not having the web Mercator background. Okay. Um, so with this view, so we could do this with any shape file. I, mm -hmm. um, this was part of my interest was to have this shape file for things. Um, while I'm demonstrating, I'm just going to go to map options and turn off pan and zoom. Mm -hmm. Um, just that way, as I'm moving around, I won't accidentally oh, totally. zoom in or out. Beautiful. Yeah. Yep. And can so I ask a question? Is yep. that zero, zero? Is that null island? Yes. Yes. Right. So when people talk about null island, it's because you've got nulls in your latitude and longitudes, and they just show up in the ocean hanging off of um, yep. Africa. So and that's, Tableau that's... won't actually plot things that are nulls in the data, mm -hmm. but in a lot of data that is supplied, those nulls get turned into latitude zero, longitude zero. And that's when things start showing up in the middle of the ocean. They're on Null Island. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yep. And I've actually flown over Null Island. Nice. Um, and there wasn't anything there. <laughs> Nothing there, to see there. <laughs> there. There's a weather buoy there in, in real life. Um, so yeah. So we have our map here. And this is this background geometry, which isn't filtered by anything. So if I filter Superstore for East... This doesn't change. We talked about that before with this, this layer is always there. This is the background layer. That's, that's the Canada yep. provinces conversation. Yep. So now I can bring in, for example, my state geometry as another layer. Mm -hmm. And now we can see we have this darker blue here. So I'll just take my background layer and I'll make that a nice light. And now mm -hmm. here's my East states that I filtered for. Or I can see all my states. Got it for example. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of this layer now and show you the stripes. So here is, whoops, I need my geometry for stripes. So there's my stripes layer. Mm -hmm. And on this, when I hover over it, we can see a lot of skinny little lines. Um, and we need a detail here. So I'm going to add stripe to color just to give us some granularity here. And now we've got this stripe two is orange and stripe one is blue. Lovely. So we have the whole country as stripes. Um, and then if I bring in state, for example, on this and just put that on detail, now I have stripe one, one and two for each. So we're using our relationships to give us these kind of semi-independent data sources. 
And this data source for the striped polygons has an extra level of detail in it. Which it's got that extra stripe plotting. dimension, which is one and two. Um, mm -hmm. yep. And then you've got your background uh, data set that's related on one equals one, so that no matter what, you always have that catch-all white um, uh, state, so that even if you were to filter the other stuff away, you still see the outline of it. Yeah. So for example, if I exclude my orange California marks, uh -huh. I'm now seeing underneath the blue California marks is the states for background underneath that. So, um, so now that we have this, we have a data source with values and now we can start associating values in our superstore data with what Stripe to show. Mm, you can you can kind of map state to state to the flavor of Stripe that you want? Exactly. Okay. So just to show this right now, I have created a number of different calculated fields here. And one of the calculated fields I said was, okay, using segment in my data, if it's consumer, then I want to show the geometry stripe associated with stripe number one. If it's okay. corporate, then I want to show the geometry stripe for stripe number two. Okay. I'm a little bit confused by what is a geometry stripe because I remember you'd had just a stripe dimension. Mm hmm Okay, so if I go back to this view on detail here, we have our background geometry for the underlying background. Let's just turn mm -hmm. this one off right now. So there's our underlying background. Mm -hmm. And then I'll turn this off and we'll turn this one on. And for our stripes, we're using the geometry from our stripes. Okay, so when you say stripe yeah. geometry, what you mean is the geometry from the shape file that has the stripe dimension in it. Yes. Got it. Okay. Which is which has been pre-processed in QGIS to have this layout. And one of the things um, Sarah Battersby did is uh, she helped me figure out how to do this, um, get our striping, and created a post on the Tableau community forums about how to do the processing in QGIS on this. Okay, super. So, so that part is, is available for further research. You can read how that's yep. done. So if you want right. to do other stripes or you want to do cross hatching or all sorts of things, you can do that all. Yeah, I can't believe five months have gone by. I remember seeing that flying around on Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yep. So with that, uh, let's go back to the segment stripes calculated field. And so I set up this as a new geometry kind of field, and we're just changing the geometry that we're going to draw depending on our underlying data. And in this I case, see. it's a case statement. Data. It's based yep. on based on whatever dimension. If it's this, I want this kind of stripe. If it's this other mm -hmm. one, then I want this other kind of stripe. And you're kind of creating a new dimension in that stripe data set that has different this members based actually, on the um, case statement. It's a measure. It's a measure. So the geometry fields are measures. Okay. Tableau because they get aggregated okay. with a collect aggregation. Got it. Yep. Okay. Yep. But nevertheless, thank you for that. It's not new dimension members, but it has different aggregate values based on whatever it is you've put in your case statement, mm -hmm. which then we could still use those aggregate values on the color shelf to make some of them purple and some of them orange. Totally. Got it. So okay. here's the view that I built using that. So I've got my base layer. So there's my geometry, mm -hmm. underlying background. And then in this layer, I have my segment stripes on the view. I have state on the level of detail, so I can see different states. And then I also have colored them by the segment, consumer or corporate. Mm -hmm. And then some of the, just to make the view more interesting, I filtered out some of the things in the data. To here. exclude some things to show, to show that the background stuff is still back there is kind of the catch-all to draw that shape yep. of the 
of the one that isn't there. Mm -hmm. So, so to me, the main thing here is that on the geometry, on the um, the collect that's being done on this marks card is the segment stripe calculation, not the kind of out of the box geometry that came with the shape file, because you wanted to take that out of the box geometry that came with the shape file and chop it up based on some other criteria to, to make different types of stripes. Yep. Okay. And I could, if I was always clear on like, okay, stripe number one needs to go with consumer and stripe number two always needs to go to with corporate, then in my data source, I could use something like a relationship calculation here to do that association. Um, but in to this kind case- kind of hard code it. Mm -hmm. Yep, in certain ways, but using that relationship where it's just on state, then we just have this as a level of detail that we can associate whatever we want with. Um, so to show another example of this, in Superstore, we actually have three segments. There's consumer, corporate, and um, now I'm blanking out on the other one. Um, the third one? The third one, home office is right. So in this case, what I did just to kind of show ways we can take this and using layers is on, let me just turn off this. So my segment, um, individual segments here are using this mixing segment stripes field mm -hmm. where I'm saying if I have less than three segments, mm -hmm in the current level of detail, which is by state in this case, mm -hmm. then um, let me show whether I have one or two stripes on it for a consumer and corporate and assign that. So that's a layer and we're only, and we're through this. If there's three segments, we're not showing anything. If there's only one segment and it's home office, we're not showing anything because we're mm -hmm. not returning any geometry for that, for this layer. And then when I turn on this layer and I turn on the, what I call the full state here, this is my mixing full state. And this is using another exclude level of detail expression here to return our geometry, which is coming from that full state to state relationship geometry. So we're returning the the whole state here and not any of our stripes for all of those states where there are three um uh all three segments mm -hmm. and you're able to mix and match these different logics to come up with different stripes in different layers mm -hmm. so that you can get really that sort of nuanced layered textured um outcome that you're looking for um yep with different types of criteria. And, and so in this case, you're doing counts of segments and these types of things, but I could also see this um, really even layering on different kinds of, um, like let's say I've got some geospatial data that has water risk in it in one mm -hmm. um, kind of shape data source. And I've got a different one that has precipitation and a different one that has electricity usage. Um, I might kind of have differing geometries, not always a state geometry that sort of layer these differing hashes on top of one another. Um, and I can kind of control which type of hash um, mm -hmm. is in which geometry based on this sort of computation that happens uh, one map layer at a time. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking out of the yeah. box here, but these are ways that you could take what you're showing and make it, you know, take it um, to suit whatever use case or needs that you have. Exactly. Really nice. Yeah. yeah. So with this, so so the the kind of takeaway here is that we can use this for it's a way of showing more categories of information within the same um, geographic object. Because right now on our states we have orange only, we have blue only, we have the orange and blue together we have the dark gray and we have the light gray. So we've got five categories of information. Mm -hmm. And you're able to stack all of those things on top of one another thanks to the different geometries that are coming from the different um, logical tables in your data model across the relationship. 
um, and also um, your use of the map layers to kind of turn that that two record stripe dimension into differing types of two record stripes um, mm -hmm. based on whatever criteria that you want to use. Yes. Wow. And and just to show kind of one more on this about where we can go with this is um, in this case, so that the previous versions, I had a dimension in my data set that I was using. Um, in this um, here, I've created a sales KPI measure. So we're using sum of sales and then we're returning a number one, two, three, four, five out of that. And then I have my sales KPI stripe that is then based on our sales KPI is returning different flavors of geometry of that. And in this case, I'm using that collect aggregation around my geometry. So we can work with our geometry as a record level value. We can work with our geometry as an aggregate when we need to. So we don't necessarily need to be turning our sales KPI into a level of detail expression so we can use it. We can just use it. And so here, um, just depending on that level of sales, we're either showing nothing um, or sales KPI or three, two, or together is one in this case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now to get the together as one, you need to alternate the ones and the twos so that they line up. Because if they were both on stripe one, then the oranges and the blues would be on top of each other. Um, so to get them to be the, there's this kind of interaction here between the data and the, or the aggregation that we're doing and the, um, sorry, the aggregation that we're doing, let me go to the sales KPI stripe here. Um, so the aggregation that we're doing in the level of detail of that marks card. So in this case, for our sales KPI, we're returning different sets of geometry. And here we have like if min stripe equals two, if min stripe equals one, this min stripe for this to return one or two, we need stripe in the level of we detail. We need that to be that in, the, card. in the view. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what we're effectively saying here is if it's one, return all of our stripes. Um, or if sales KPI is one, return all of our stripes. When sales KPI is two, then we're only gonna return the geometry for stripe one. So that's our blues. If sales KPI is three, then we're only gonna return the geometry for stripe two. Got it. Yep. Super, yeah. I love it, thank you. Sure. So I'm. we've started using this here and there in some different views and there's a whole, there's there's a few more, well, to use the term layers, there's a, a few more layers I'm really excited to share in future conversations. Oh, right, so this rabbit hole goes deeper and we'll be unpacking it in the future. I yes, love it. we get into labeling and call outs and all sorts of fun. Okay, great, I can't wait to learn. Thanks so all much. Right. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.